But our top story tonight, a church in Bradley County is keeping the faith tonight. That's right, even though they're facing a massive repair bill, all because of vandals. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin has been following the story. He joins us now to explain. Jerry. You know, take, take your gun to a gun range if you want to shoot something. Don't shoot into a building. And Pastor Richard Snyder shows us the damage. Okay, so you can see the entry point of some of the bullets here, up high, over here, two paired together here. In all, 14 bullet holes in this congregation's new home. But even so, the faith of the members at Blue Springs Baptist Church remains solid as a rock. We'll continue to serve the same Lord that we have in the past. They'd hope to open their doors next month. Now, that'll take extra weeks, maybe even months longer. You think who would want to shoot an empty building? Um, you also hold out hope that it wasn't a targeted act of a church. Back in December, the church bought this property from Bradley County. It used to be Blue Springs Elementary School's gym. But the April 27, 2011 tornadoes damaged it beyond repair. Just weeks ago, workers finished converting this room into a sanctuary, which will still be used as a part-time gym. You know, five, ten thousand dollars in damage, uh, you know, for a church our size uh, to, to raise that money is a big deal. It's designed to not only hold services, but also house visiting missionaries. So Pastor Snyder is thankful when shots rang out, this room was empty. It would have been an ultimate disaster had they been here and somebody shooting through the outside of the building. But just down the road, a hopeful sign. These street signs with recent bullet part marks tell the pastor the church was not a deliberate target. We hope that whoever is responsible for this uh, would eventually come forth. Now, with these repairs in mind, the pastor plans to have the gym fixed and ready for moving by October. Right now, police haven't yet made any arrests. Calvin. Thanks, Jerry.